Hi guys, uh, welcome back to this tutorial. Um, this is the second part of uh, the video series for E2 RESTful APIs. So if you haven't watched the setup video, kindly watch so that we move, al we move together. So in this uh, tutorial, I'll specifically show you how to do, how to create, update and uh, delete a new item via um, the REST API. So I'll head straight to Postman where um, I will be manipulating most of the, now I'll be using to manipulate data via our API endpoint. So by default, um, this product uh, endpoint will list, uh, will return the products that we have in the database. Now I want us to create a new element. So create, uh, so for create, it will be post. So if you are wondering where uh, these are coming, these verbs, how to determine them, uh, these ones can be found straight in our, um, they are part of verbs. If I'm not wrong, just quick one. Hmm. Okay, let me show you again. Uh, verbs, 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 active controller. So for the active controller, it has the, you can see there's this protected uh, method called verbs. So the index, uh, index action supports get and head, sorry. Um, create only supports, uh, supports post. Uh, update supports both put and patch. Then for delete, only supports delete verb. So in future, we will see how to play around with this one. But for the sake of this video, just understand that the create action only supports post. So I'll go back to my um, postman. And when I try to do a send request, you can see that um, it's automatically returning that name cannot be blank and uh, price cannot blank. So what that means is that um, we need to provide a body. Now, um, the first thing you can see here is that there's the error 422, that data validation failed. Uh, in terms of sending data, we need to send row JSON. So our data will be like, so the first field is name name property the value is um, let's say iPhone postman and then uh, the next property is price price we can do we can just say three thousand bucks good let's test good so as you can see this still failed to work because we are sending our data as JSON and we are yet to configure our our I mean our REST API to accept JSON input. So you need to enable this JSON input in your request component. So I'll just copy the parser then back to our code editor um, configs uh -huh, web then i'll look for i look for requests request mod i mean component then right below the cookie things i'll just add json parser good so when i do that we should now be able you can see we have submitted the product via uh, API endpoint and it has returned the ID of the product as six. So when we view, when we do a view and then we pass ID as six, it should return the same. Oh, method not allowed. So it's uh, a get verb. Good. So you can see we can view the detail of that particular um, product. Now, if we want to update our product, um, 
you can see from the source code is that update supports only put and fetch. So uh, back here, so we want to update this particular product, we will need to pass uh, ID as 6. So let's say we want to update the price to something like 3500. Uh, I'll change these to put and then this action to update. Okay, let's do it. Oh, okay, so this ID doesn't need to be here. supposed to be here uh, six okay so you can see we have updated our product we can still update uh, these to something like full ID so that's the put um, verb the other verb that the update action supports is patch Obviously, when you read in detail, you will learn when to do a put and a patch. So for this one, I'll just say, um, let's say something like 2500. Yeah. So as you can see, that one has uh, updated the item. And then um, for delete, for delete, it's, um, it's a delete verb. So we can just do a delete here and then uh, delete. Good. So now when we try to view, when we try to view this item, it should not be found. Suppose good. So you can see that the object has not been is not found. So guys, that's pretty much about um, the crude uh, functionality that comes with um, extending the extending your rest your rest controller I, from the active controller so this active controller actually does weight lift for you the whole um, i mean the key actions the create update delete and uh, view so if you were to use a different controller like the the parent of this class it won't be the same uh, you need to do a couple of work for it to work so guys that's pretty much about it um, i'll continue doing uh, other videos about the api uh, perspective from i mean in uh, e framework and uh, if you have any feedback if you feel you need more content or uh, just a suggestion feel free to reach out and uh, subscribe to this channel that's it guys